Hey guys, so look, we're at day 11 basically. We got Stan the dog man. It is Father's Day here in Texas, and guess what? He came up here. <laughs> for one, he's got a big trip planned this weekend or this week for a couple days. He'll be gone handling some business, making some brizzed. And uh, out there in New York, man. So ch check in, tech, touch base with him if you're in the New York area, because Stan will be there. Second, you know, we love the, I do, I appreciate the time he's here, man, because it's, it's like it's finally coming together. You know, like when a team starts finding their groove, starting to find their groove, and we're putting out some good stuff, helping a lot of people. So, uh, you know, he'll be gone more than we'd like, but he's been up here almost every day <laughs> to make sure he keep the, he got plenty of work to do, and we got stuff to do. So I appreciate his assistance. We're going to sit down and knock out a couple podcasts today. So he has even more stuff <laughs> to, to take with him. Hit a few big topics and then uh, chew on some food, probably drink a little swig of some whiskey. And, and that'll be all, folks. I can't help you. Yeah, so. Nah, I can't do nothing for you. Guys, so we got that. Stan's got that uh, whiskey blendery party cove, man. That's a single barrel release, I believe. Uh, it's Heron, mm -hmm. <laughs> even though we've never tried that. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking out of mug because I ain't got no red cups here. When I tell you that junk is good. <laughs> That junk is good. And you don't even need that much of it. No, that's the part there, man. Everybody that was at the place yesterday bought a few bottles after their tasting um, at that event. And they go, so if I get that bottle out of that barrel right now, that that's the one of one He says, yep. And when it's gone, nobody ever gets it again. And that's the beauty about the whiskey blendery. Like, I got one called Banana Hammock. I bought two Golden Grains yesterday. I was like, because the golden grains, is only three left. And it literally tastes like golden grains. So I go. That rye from the other day. Was it still rye or still rising? Uh-huh. Oh, uh, live and let rye. Yeah, that one. Another one. Super good, man. Listen, these barrels, they just keep getting better and better by the day. Back at our apartment. Look, I used to love parks and I still do. And uh, we'll get down here and get Rocco up in the tree. Just tell a little bit more Stan's story. One of the most powerful things you could ever do is run your mouth, believe it or not. Everything that you do, you watch movies because somebody run your mouth. You watch the news, somebody run your mouth. You watch everything you do. It's made, if you sitting there, look, you got to run your mouth. <laughs> it's, it's that simple. And master that message, to say the least. So we're going to do a couple videos with Cha-Cha. Um, again, I think it's day 11 or something on the vlogging thing. Yesterday was a hell of a day. I mean, a hell of a day. I mean... A hell of a day. I can't <laughs> I can't reiterate. I don't know how life is getting so good. <laughs> and that doesn't mean, you know, I'm waiting for something to the ball to drop because it's I mean we're not where we need to be. So if somebody says, hey, I don't think it's perfect. I think there's work to be done. I think we got a lot more work to do. And again, big big shout out to Jamarcus and Stan for uh, committing to come up today. And I, I literally put them both, don't worry about it, but you know, once I think about it, at 12 o'clock would have hit, they've been sitting around there looking at the like, so much we could have got done in it. And the thing is, they know I've been working on something. I've been looking at Cha Cha like, damn, how am I finna get her back? I know they ain't finna come down here. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna get him out, tell the second part of the story, get some B roll stuff, and this is all the little stuff. Let's do it, man. You already learned how to use this camera. Stay on it, boy. Stay on it and at it, buddy. Stay tuned. <laughs> and that's what I'm, so I'm gonna stand right here in front of the mic. Yeah. Jesus Christ. See this thing moving. You ready? Yep. All right, so we're down at one of the parks, Stan. Um, I know one of the things, what's one of the first places you took Rocco where you were, like, inspired? Like, you was like, damn. Oh, that's a, that is a, I've taken him a lot of places. So like, let me think of one of the first places. <laughs> I mean, it was probably a playground. Um, I probably took a toy and started throwing that. I remember one day we were went to a, this elementary school and they had a slide. And I just literally threw the tug down there and he goes down the slide. The second time, I went down the slide with him. And then just anything that I would do with him, it just kind of inspired me because he just wanted to go with me. And and so when you take him down the slide, man, what are you thinking? Like, why go to a playground? <laughs> I mean, it's an opportunity. <laughs> with my dog, I just wanted to see what he would be willing to try for me. And then after we got into like formal training, we saw like shoots in, we saw PSA, we saw pro sports, we saw all the different stuff that the dogs would have to go through. It was like, if I can get my dog to the point where he would go through anything for me, there's nothing that he won't try for me. But, you know, when you say for you, it's also because he he's going, uh, you're going, you're right there with him. Yes. 
And so now we know that in our case, we like to do a little playground test as, as well to see kind of where the dogs are at. Early on. <laughs> Early on. I mean, not even a uh, playground test. We're building obstacles for the dogs when they're <laughs> seven, six, seven weeks now. So hey, look, we got, we, Marcus had them drugs in there week five. Look, mm -hmm. you see my thing, them jokers is climbing a hill. Yeah. I mean, I think Hera didn't have her, she couldn't open her eyes yet and had to climb over the little thing. Yep. Look, guys, I'm a, I'm a, I got some surprises coming in the future. So that's neither here nor there. <laughs> but it Stan, makes look. Exactly. What, what's something else that you want to know about Rocco and why it's important to get the dog out to see these kind of environments and stuff? Man, anything about Rocco is he is. Yeah, we pause it. Yeah. Dude, you know, white people take the low. Nope. Hey, Rocco. I need to get him out in the world, man. Unfortunately, ridiculously windy out here, people. We're wrapping up, literally. <laughs> All days, too, man. Like, it wouldn't be windy any other day. Every other day, we need this wind. It'll be no wind. Now, all no of a wind, sudden, bro, be cooking. Cooking, bro. I was walking through that water today, sweating like a hoochie. No breeze. It's that Father's Day wind. Take hey, that. there you go. <laughs> Gandhi, Gandhi. <laughs> hey, they counted us out. <laughs> We about to get the dogs up, man. Go down and knock two podcasts out. What I love, even more importantly, is Stan's like, uh, you know, when want to get some work done, and he needed a, uh, he gonna be in a hotel for a couple days, man. <laughs> I mean, he ain't limited to it, but you, once you go out and see stuff, and you start looking at the bank account, people like me and him, we can't justify wasting money now. If we were spending time and money with people, and he's like, okay, fair enough. But just be giving money away, where they do that at? <laughs> and, and then, it's easier to cook half the times anyway. You know, so he's going to be out in New York. He's like, man, let me get as much content as possible, set the podcast, knock out at least two of them with him. Um, and that'll give him something to edit so he could drop his voice out there some more. Man, I told him that's important. Again, use your voice, people. Hell of a day at the park, man. And that was just maybe 30, 40 minutes. And you say, man, that's a whole episode of a, a, a Netflix show that you might be watching. That you ain't, ain't getting no money. Ain't getting any money. Well, here we are shooting and continue to move the needle forward uh, so we can keep helping you guys and most importantly, helping ourselves. So this is behind the scenes as we uh, get ready to do a podcast, man. We've been missing the podcast. We haven't really had a, a place to do them, but uh, I assure you, in, in literally two weeks, and Tim already told us we could do any as much as we want at the, the blendery. So Jamarcus and I will probably get in there early, start knocking out three or four on Tuesdays when we're there. That's one of his down days, even though there's a big month for him coming up. So, But we're going to talk a little bit about Father's Day and a couple other topics. I want to make sure Stan leaves with tons of stuff. You'll need to edit at least 14 clips, which is two weeks of work. Like, hey, drop one in a day of, of you talking about something and hitting some notes. So stay tuned, people. We're about to knock this joker out. Look, this is tight. <laughs> We're about to get back on this thing right fast. Yeah. You on that thing, auto. You on that thing, auto. <laughs> more life, more everything. Oh, shit. Right now, we're going to get some... Uh, Ice cream over here. Uh, it's an ice cream kind of day. <laughs> Thanks, Bridger. So, definitely tomorrow, let's start the day off at Tadlock. Yeah. Getting out of the looked at. Ooh, see if she's got anything in there. Let's just man. get the good news or the bad news, nigga. Don't play with me, man. Play with my tomorrow. Emotions, man. Tomorrow could be a big boy. day. 
It'll be a big talking day. About like two and a half years worth of work that gets pushed back another potential five to six months, man. Easy. You're just like, then turn that two and a half turns to three. And you're like, bro, we <laughs> enough time. <laughs> None of us do, man. Oh, yo. Stay tuned, man, because. You know, we we kind of closing out day 10 or 11. I don't know what day it is because I've been recording every day. But a day, man, it is getting like it's getting warmer as we keep walking. It's definitely good day to get warm. My Lord. One thing is certain Martin's and Sons days, I mean, you don't like this Texas heat is a booger. How is it, man? Good. You can get that basic shit, huh? Got a little bit more flavor to it. Boy, at least. A middle of brownie situation. That whole going no boy. This stuff never makes it too far in my hands. <laughs> I can't eat too much ice cream though. Too much ice cream, I'll be sick as three dogs. sick as three dogs, so. We'll close this one now, people more likely. For the podcast, we did three podcasts today, I think. Um, got out to the park, got active with some of the dogs, wishing stay in safe travels, man. And, uh, you know, Father's Day, since it's been a thing for years now. Shout out to all you people out there that are taking care of your kids. <laughs> Guys, just take care of your kids. <laughs> it's one of them shorts, man. Them shorter ones, but again, still good. Good day so far, man. These are the days you're like, man, boy, how you make a day better than this? Keep waking up. Let's see what happens next.